so there's so, so, so much that I want to ask. Um, but from a, I just want to, because I've always wanted to ask this, from a PK perspective, which one is harder, being a PK or a pastor? Oh, man. Uh, probably about two months ago, I would have said P- being a PK is tough. Yeah. yeah. But having to be completely in the right, but be completely in the wrong at the expense of your character and at the expense of pride, man, they probably about, they they probably neck about neck. neck and neck. Yeah, they probably about neck and neck, man. Uh, you know, we had to see some crazy stuff. You know, yeah. you got people that want to treat your parents any kind of way, mm-hmm. you know, and say however they feel. And we supposed to just, you know, just bite our tongue on that. But it's different when it's happening to you mm-hmm. and you ain't you know you ain't do nothing you know what I mean my so problem kind of has always you. been personally as a PK has been watching my parents re-accept a lot of people oh oh after they have like wrong like severely wronged them okay Yo. and I'd be like my parents crazy somebody's crazy it's either god my parents somebody's unlost it yeah 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 for sure we had this lady one time um um we had to like have a meeting with her and this is when i was probably like i was like maybe 13 or 14 and uh my parents hadn't been pastoring too long they've been in church forever but they ain't been pastoring uh too long with the church that we have now and this lady had this meeting with them and she got upset. Something was said. I can't remember. But what I do vividly remember is she got up and she started walking out of the meeting. I wasn't in the meeting. I was just in the sanctuary. And I could hear because her voice was a little elevated, you know. And I'm like, all right, you know, watch your tone. I'm 13, but, you know, we could we could go. Mm-hmm. This lady came out. She had a little church hat on and a little church, you know, back in the day when people used to dress like, you know, uh, the Clark sisters. Yeah. Um. You know, she walks out and she does this like little shimmy and she like kicks her feet up. And she said, well, the Bible told me to shake the dust. We seen her at church like five years after that. And my parents act like she was just the sweetest lady. And I'm like, yo. Now I'm fooled you. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Have your parents ever received death threats? You know, you know. Yeah. You know. (laughs) You know, I don't know if I can say I'm a thug. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, I be feeling the Peter in me come out. Like I be ready at, to cut ears. At any time. At any yeah. time. You know, we 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 we've been we've been around the block a couple times. Yeah. And yet and still, we they'll hear. still come back. They'll start coming back to church. And you'll be Yo. like, What's I thought you didn't like us? Right. What you doing here? What? Oh no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Before they come back to church, um, Pastor, the water's off. Yeah. Pastor, the lights is off. Yeah. But you you don't like us. Right. But you like, you know, you need us to pay the bills. Yeah. But mm, mm. Yeah, you know, being a PK is, is tricky, man. It it's is tricky. very tricky. It's tricky, man. I, I uh, you know, we don't and we don't get the opportunity to say how we feel. Not a lot. Because, you know, at service, you know, although you're the PK, mom and dad is still like, all right, you know. Yeah. Tone that down. Mm-hmm. You know, this is what we we supposed to do. We supposed yeah. to love them that, you know. Yeah. That's what we're supposed to do. But That's we what we're supposed to do. I appreciate this. Yeah. I just always wonder because from my perspective, as a PK personally, I do a lot in ministry. Mm-hmm. Not to say that my parents' job is not harder because they have the weight of the world on their yeah, shoulders. Yeah. But everything they take off, mm-hmm. most of the time they end up handing to us. Right. For sure. And for so sure. it's like, oh, we taking stuff off your plate, but add more to mine. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you know? yep. yep. Man, that's... That's, that's, man, being a PK is, is a, is a thankless job. Yeah. Because what about the conversations that you've heard about your parents that you couldn't tell your parents Mm. because you knew that it would like, it would hurt. You know what I mean? Or the conversations that people thought because you cool, I can have this conversation with you about your parents. Or, because I've been in the place where, and and occasionally, and it's just human nature where I've been offended with my parents. Oh, give me some. That's you. I bought that from Biloxi just for you. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Where I've been offended with my parents, and then it's like, who do you talk to about it? Because usually y'all my people. Right. You're the ones I go to. Yep. And yep. as a child, 
I remember venting to other friends in the ministry. Mm-hmm. I got you. But then they started looking at my parents differently. And when I noticed that, I'm like, okay, I can't, yeah, I can't do that no true. more because yep. Yep. obviously it's changing their heart towards my parents yep. too. And they aren't able to receive from them as much. Yep. I think one of the, one of the things that uh, helped me in spaces like that is I had siblings, like you got siblings. Mm-hmm. I had siblings that are close in age that, may not have felt the same way or maybe did feel the same way. And that would be my, them mm-hmm. was my confidants. You know what I mean? Them was my, that was my go-to. It was my brother and my sister, yeah. you know? And, you know, sometimes I, I think back on that and, and I feel like, well, maybe I should have reeled that in a little bit more because they're in church, but they're not as like in depth as I am. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I think like, well, maybe was a certain conversation, the thing yeah. that, you know. Pushed them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, and I'm the oldest. And so all of my siblings are super spread out. Closest yeah. one to me is seven years younger yeah. than me. So who do you go to? Right. And that's tough. Yeah. That's tough. I, I started finding, and I'm grateful. My parents used to take me to, to like Bishop Hilliard's church. Mm-hmm. And they would have conferences for pastors and PKs. Mm-hmm. And so you're in a room full of PKs. Yeah, I and understand. I remember having people like um, Pastor Dominique. Mm-hmm. Love her. Um, she actually just took over her father's ministry. But... I, when I had a situation with my parents, mm-hmm. I would call her like, girl, and she's older than me, Yeah. but I'd call her and be like, how do I deal with this? Mm-hmm. And she would be able to give me a different perspective and say like, you and your parents are saying the same thing and y'all have the same goal. It just sounds different. Oh, that's beautiful. That's you wisdom. Know? She sounds like she done been there a time or Oh, two. she did a couple yeah, times yeah, or that's, two. That's, that's wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. Because she that. was also... I think she was the oldest sibling as Mm -hmm. well. And then, you know, it has the weight all on its own. But I just wondered because, you know, I'd been in situations, places before where I struggled. And it almost made me stop wanting to go to church, period. Mm -hmm. Stop wanting to fool with. Mm. Like, I love Jesus. And now as an Mm. older, more mature Christian, I'm like, like the church is God's bride, Mm -hmm. right? I can't stay that I mm. fool with him and I don't fool with the church. You preaching. So I'm I'm older now and I understand that now, but there was a point in time. Mm-hmm. And if I can say this, uh, and my husband might tell me to cut the cameras, but there was a time when I didn't ever want to go to an African-American church either. Mm. Mm. Because the church government structure is different. Oh, completely. The way that they receive people is completely different. Completely. And I'd be like, maybe I need to go partake with my Caucasian brothers mm-hmm. and sisters mm, in breaking the bread. Me. Yeah. Can, can I, can I yeah. interview now? Okay, great. So 